CataractCoach.com, surgery to fix severe capsular phimosis. From Professor Hossam El Falal, Mansouri University in Egypt. You can see the stretch on support, the severe phimosis of the anterior capsule rim, and look how distorted the IOL optic is. It doesn't even look round. So the first step is via paracentesis, injecting viscoelastic to open up the capsule bag. And nice and slow technique here. Our goal is to increase the volume of the capsular bag. And when you open up the capsular bag, the IOL optic can resume its normal shape. That small central circular opening, that's what's left of the capsular rexus. Probably started off as about a four and a half or five millimeter capsular rexus. Now look how flat the IOL is at this point. After injecting that OVD and making more space in the capsule bag, the IOL now resumes the normal configuration. So this IOL can certainly be saved, and the goal here is going to be to cut out this phimotic membrane. So using micro scissors here on a 23 gauge uh, shaft, those can be placed in the eye and radial cuts of that anterior capsular phimotic rim can be made. And you can make multiple of these cuts. The membrane can be thick, so it may take a few bites with the scissors in order to achieve the appropriate cut. Now you can use another paracentesis, even two more paracentesis, to make more um, access to the rest of the capsule rim. So you can see that one piece of tissue has been cut out. Now it can be grabbed with forceps and removed from the eye. And then starting to make some good progress. So here's another paracentesis going in the eye. Now, what are the causes of anterior capsular phimosis like this? Most commonly, it's patients who have pseudoexfoliation or patients who have diseases such as retinitis pigmentosa. Those commonly give this phimotic appearance to the anterior capsule. Remember, this started off as a probably a 5 millimeter capsular rexus. But then, with this phimosis happening, it ended up being about 1.5 or 2 millimeters. So, a lot of contraction there. You can see with the red reflex, the zonular support fibers that are still there. It's important not to disturb those. We want to create a sufficient amount of opening of the lens uh, capsule anteriorly, but we also need to leave enough support behind. The goal here in this case is to just remove this fibromatic membrane and not disturb the existing zonular support. So a few more cuts going in here with the micro scissors. And this is a process that uh, takes a little bit of time and um, stick to it this and then you can achieve a nice outcome. So here again, that base is being cut off and then it can be pulled out of the eye. That looks pretty good. So we're sitting superiorly and you can see just under that incision that you see at the bottom of your screen, there's a little bit more of the phimotic membrane and that can be removed as well or we can even leave some of it behind. Remember, leave enough capsule behind to give support. This is a case for perfection and removing all that opacity may be the enemy of good. And if you remove too much of this capsule or tissue, you can lose support. So we don't want to have that happen. So this looks great. This is a beautiful case. We want to thank Dr. El Falal for his beautiful case and for the submission. Something for us to learn from. How do you prevent this capsular phimosis? Well, you start off with a larger capsular excess. Some people put in a capsular tension ring in these cases. And if you see this early in the post type period, you can do relaxed incisions of the anterior capsule with the YAG laser. Check out cataractcoach.com. It's our free teaching website. You can sign up for our daily email. We'll send you a free case every day to your inbox. Also, submit your video. Why not you teach us something good? We'd love to learn.